everybody, Backyard Bullion here. Now this last week I have been working very hard on some brand new products in the form of these hammer finished bars, hearts and triangle. Much to the dismay no doubt of my next door neighbours as this process is not a quiet one, putting it lightly. So I've got seven brand new pieces to showcase for you here today as well as a making of segment. If you don't know what a hammered finish is, you basically take a hammer, a silver bar, and you go to Pound Town. And I've got a video at the stamping bench showing how this Kit Kat bar came to life. It's a really fun one. We stamped the uh, the bottom here as well as all of this hammered finish. It's really, really fun and quite cathartic to do and watch. So stick around if you're interested in seeing how this one came to life. So these all form what I am calling the hammered series. And it started earlier this week with this bar here, number one, which has already been sold and reserved. The others are currently listed on my website. If you're interested in any of them, head on over. There's a link down in the description below. For the very best prices though, please make sure you email me directly, byb at backyardbullion.com, and we can work out a price directly, ignoring any PayPal fees. So if you're interested, head on over to my website and have a look at these very cool pieces. But it started earlier this week with these hammered bars and I was just dead chuffed with the way they came out. In fact, Mrs. Backyard Bullion said that they were by far and away her favorite pieces that I have ever created. So that's high praise indeed. And a lot of people on the Silver Forum as well were commenting on how cool the finish looked. So I decided to mock up a few additional pieces uh, to showcase the different shapes and how the finish looks on those different shapes. I'm really chuffed with the way these hearts have turned out. So hearts are really popular uh, just generally for custom made pieces and special occasions. But now we can offer them in this uh, hammered finish. I think they look fantastic. I think these are actually even more attractive to me than the mirror finish or even the ripple finish. I mean, I love my ripples, don't get me wrong, but this hammer finish absolutely looks stunning. Now these particular ones I've just stamped up as part of this ongoing hammered series. So we've got serial numbers starting with H and we've got obviously bar number one, and then these are three, four, and five. The idea is that the number will continue to increase indefinitely and we'll eventually have a nice sizable photo database of all of the serialized, serialized numbers of these bars. Uh, all that will change is the year date. These all, by the way, will need to go up to Edinburgh for assay testing and hallmarking. So if you are interested in buying any of these, there will be probably a two to three week wait until they're back and hallmarked with the exception of this triangle which is already hallmarked. I just decided to hammer up an existing piece which I had already done. So uh, yeah, I think they look absolutely great and the texture and feel to them looks fantastic as well. And you know, Hampel Silver is all about enjoying it and touching it and feeling it. And I have to say, I've been you know really enjoying these bars sat on my, uh, on my workstation at my computer. You know, just having them in my hand and feeling the finish on there, it's really very tex uh, textured and sort of uh, tactile, that's the word I was looking for, very tactile indeed. But by far and away the standout piece for me today was this giant Kit Kat bar. I did actually have two attempts at making it, um, I didn't show that in today's video, but there is another Kit Kat bar out there which um, unfortunately I messed up the stamp right at the very end on, it's very frustrating when that happens. but. Ever the perfectionist that I am, I decided to chop it up, melt it down, and create a brand new one. And we've got this one here. So today, you're gonna to see this come to life. I've already poured it, so you're not gonna see the pour coming out, but you'll see all of the hammering. Uh, it's really very fun and cathartic. So enjoy that, and thank you very much for watching. And here we are over at the stamping bench, or as I like to call it, the kitchen table. And we're gonna turn this blank Kit Kat bar into the hammered Kit Kat bar that you saw at the start of the video. And to do that, we're gonna use this ball head hammer. You can have loads of different types of finishes with hammered bars. We're using a ball head to get that kind of pitted look on this bar. Before we do that though, we are going to stamp the BYB logo, the serial number, and the weight of this bar on the back. And we're gonna do that first because you'll see when I do it, it'll actually bend the bar in the middle. And then the idea is that when we've got it on the anvil and we're striking it doing the hammered finish, it'll straighten the bar back out again. So first, let's give it a weigh. Now we are using some very fancy looking scales here. These are made by Adam Equipment and they are very, very accurate. They're also trading standard approved and calibrated. So for us in the UK, if we're selling anything by weight and measure, you have to have accurate scales. So we have got 
345.12 grams. So 345.12 divided by 31.105 gives us 11.095 ounces. So 11.09 is the weight that we're going to stamp. So you'll see the bar bending a little bit as we go through here. So we're going to stamp, we're going to go around this way, we're going to put the BYB logo here in the middle I think just so that we can fit the serial number underneath it. Now for those budding silver pourers and stampers out there, I've done a few videos on stamping before, hopefully I'm not going to mess it up live on camera but confidence is always the key. And I would also highly recommend you only do one strike at a time. So here we go, loud noise incoming. So that should have given a pretty good indent, but as you can see with this groove that's in this bar, you get a little bit of the bees not showing. So we're gonna go again, we've got it right back on, make sure it's all nice and secure, and then, and you can see right away the bar is bent. But don't worry, that will rectify itself when it's on the anvil and we're striking down on top of it, it will bend itself back. Silver is incredibly malleable. Now, I said 11.09 ounces, I think. Yes, I did. So let's put, in fact, let's have a look, see where we are with this. So I want to do a little bit of artistic -y stuff. So let's put two leaves, one on either side of the BYB. And then the other one the other way here. Very good, and then I think we're gonna have the hallmark underneath this here. So let's put the weight on this left-hand side. So we're gonna put 11.09 ounces, Try. let's go a bit further that way. So 11, and let me use a sharp pointy thing for a bullet point. And then we've got 0.9. Always double check your stamps are the right way up, especially with numbers. Well, with everything really. So 11.09, and then we're going to do OZT for the weight. So O and a Z. And lastly, a T. It also helps to have uh, your punches all out in order. I've got a really very useful board which I mocked up, drilling lots of holes and got them all in there in alphabetical order so it's very easy to find. So then we are going to put the serial number of this bar. Now for all of my hammer pieces I've got it in my mind to have each one with its own unique serial number and they all start with an H or in this case this is going to start with an N because we're doing N-O and um, I like the idea of having them kind of sequential forever really. So each year the numbers will just continue going, but the thing that will be different is the year date, and that will come from the um, from the hallmark. You'll see the different year letter on the hallmark, so everybody will know what, which year it's made in. But uh, it will also have its serial number, so that we can have a nice photograph database of all of these bars and different shapes and sizes and everything at the end which I think would be quite cool. So this one is the James Bond bar. H007. So we just need to find the seven. There we go. So that's that stamping done. Now comes the fun bit, and that is hammering away on the top of this bar to create the hammered finish that we are after. As you can see, it is pretty bent. As you can see, look at that. That's uh, probably the best angle there. So we'll see how it looks after we've done all the hammering. Sometimes uh, it doesn't straighten out just from the hammer, especially with this light hammer on the top. Uh, but we will be putting a leaf right in the middle at the end of this process. So hopefully that, with a few good hits down, will cause it to flatten out again. So do not worry, this is not the end of this bar. So I'm going to hammer this in super speed fast motion and I'll see you at the other side.
there we go. The hammered bar. So the last thing that I'll do is just antique it. I will uh, obviously have to antique it again when the whole mark comes back, but uh, I always like to see what it'll look like when it's all antiqued up. So uh, yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you wanted to pick up any of these hammered pieces, they are available on my website right now. There is going to be a bit of a delay uh, in terms of shipping these because they need to go up to Edinburgh for hallmarking. So it'll be, gosh, at least two or three weeks, I'd say, before it's ready to be shipped. Other than that triangle, which has already got the heart, that is immediately available. So if you're interested, there's a link down in the description below to my website, or feel free to drop me an email. You can get the best prices if you email me as we can cut out PayPal fees. Uh, my email address is byb at backyardbullion.com. Otherwise, let me know what you think about these, uh, these bars and their finish. I really enjoy them. It's quite a good stress relief, although it's pretty hard work hammering away on these bars all that time. It does take quite a while to do. So let me know your thoughts. I would be intrigued to find out if these are popular or not. Otherwise, if you enjoyed today's video, please put a thumbs up on it and share it around on your social media. And if you are not already subscribed and you want to be, please hit that subscribe button. And if you are already subscribed and would like to get notifications when I upload videos, hit the alarm bell. Otherwise, have a fantastic week ahead. Thank you one and all for watching. And as always, please make sure that you like, share, comment and subscribe for more.